All right, let's get you a look into the tropics. Like I was just telling you, we have three areas. We have Patty in the northern Atlantic, not going to be bothering the United States. What we are going to be focusing on is the Caribbean as we go forward. So we've been talking about this the last couple of days. We have Invest 97L that formed yesterday, and it has a high chance, a 90% chance in the next couple of days of becoming a tropical depression. Now from there, models are showing that it has a pretty good chance of becoming Tropical Storm Raphael as we get to around the Tuesday, Wednesday timeframe. You can see that little yellow blob just to the north. Uh, that's basically just going to get swallowed up by what 97L is right now. So we're not going to be worrying about that going forward. But with some of the spaghetti plots, they're, they're leaning a little bit more towards the west, which is obviously the track we want to see. But if it takes more of that eastern track, obviously we would see some more of those impacts here in southwest Florida, like more rainfall and the probability of seeing some of those gustier winds towards the coast. But let's talk about some of those models. Now, I'm just going to show you two out of the several that we typically use for forecasting the tropics. This is the GFS or the American model. This model tends to beef up these systems a little bit and make them a little bit stronger. And that's what we've been seeing with the GFS, tracking towards the western end of Cuba and then continuing that north-northwest turn into the Gulf. Now it would be offshore of Southwest Florida still, but it takes it a little bit closer to Southwest Florida than compared to the European model that shows it as a weaker system. And like I was just saying, keeps it to the west of us. But regardless if it does keep it to the west of us or not, we're still gonna be on the dirty side, if you will, of this tropical system. So we are still gonna be seeing some impacts. And you can see that here, this is the European model showing some of that heavy rainfall that's gonna be associated with it. First round would come in on Tuesday. We start to get a little bit extra rain uh, moisture in the atmosphere, but really looking like the main day would be Wednesday into Thursday. That's when we would be seeing uh, several rounds of heavy downpours, but then really from there clearing up on Friday into the weekend. And it does look like it's gonna be weakening slightly as it pushes into the Gulf. Now you're probably thinking it's still fresh on our mind. Is this gonna rapidly intensify as this goes into the Gulf? And the dynamics are just not there compared to where we were a couple months ago. The waters in the Gulf have cooled down and there's more shear in the atmosphere, those upper level winds. So really not looking like it's going to be rapidly intensifying. A lot of the models I'm seeing right now are struggling to get it past that tropical storm mark, but we know how tropical storms can be. Uh, we can still see lots of rainfall and those gusty winds. So something to watch. Does it take that more of an eastern track? Does it take more of that western track? What we can say now is certainly going to be seeing some more of that rainfall as we head towards midweek. Today, we're looking fantastic as we bring it back to what we are going to be seeing over the next couple of days. Some drier air moved in. That's going to be lessening our rain chance this afternoon, and it's going to be dropping down our humidity slightly. So it's going to be looking and feeling really nice. And you can see that here in Naples Bay right now. It's a really gorgeous morning across our backyards. Lots of sunshine today, tomorrow. I do recommend having that umbrella if you're heading out to the poles on Tuesday. But Wednesday, that's going to be our main day for that tropical moisture. So keep that in mind going forward. Temperatures were ranging in the 80s.